everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Donita, your Pinay teacher in Norway. And earlier, I have made a video that I've received my permanent residency card here in Norway. That's why I come to think to share with you guys what are the positive and negative sides on living here in Norway. I want to be transparent to you. That's why I want to share the pros and cons of living here in Norway. So let's start for number one. Norway have a very great economy. It has equal salary work, whatever kind of work that you have. If you, for example, if you are a teacher, if you are a janitor, if you are a driver, they have a minimum salary that is enough for you to support on your living. And also here in Norway, they work to live, not live to work that's why every sunday most of the store here is closed because they do believe that it is family day week ends must be the day that you will visit some of your relatives and family so that is one so the second one is the crime rate here in norway is low also the car accidents here is low unlike for other countries and for example for me that, that i used to drive here in norway i can say that norway is the safest place to drive so that is the second one the third one is norwegians of course norwegians for me they are very friendly approachable and when you have something that you've achieved they are very supportive and they will praise you and they will appreciate all those achievements that you have come through for example in my own experience on my co-workers on my relatives most of them they are really happy to me when i achieve something so that is one that i really adore on norwegians fourth one is of course the nature here in norway they have majestic fjords fjords are tall mountains that is beside of a river any opening that is connected to the ocean so they have very beautiful majestic place here in norway and it is very popular here to have a free loops live or you can say a life outside outside your home a life with a free and fresh winds around you free loop sleep so outside they can go hiking or swimming or anything i have some videos that you can also see there's the link above the fifth one is financial support from the government here in norway they have a very good welfare for those citizens or for those people who are living here for example if you are a parent your children have financial support from the government if you give birth you will also receive a support from the government here in norway so for me that is very helpful of course for those people who are living here and the last one because i am a teacher here in norway education education here in norway they have a very good quality of education here the children are free to go to the school from elementary to high school and when they become a senior high school it is just voluntary if they want to continue their studies and of course they have a student financial support that coming from the government that they can also pay when they are finished studying also it can be a grant loan or you can say a scholarship if they finish their studies and that is the positive side of living here in Norway. Now, how about the negative side or the cons of living here? The first one for me that is really unpredictable is their weather. Sometimes you will experience the four seasons in just one day. Sometimes it will be a sunny day in the morning. It will be a little rainy day afternoon. And then it can be a snow or ice that is pouring down. <laughs> so the weather here in Norway is very unpredictable. But since regions are waterproof, <laughs> they don't believe on bad weathers. There is no such thing as bad weather here 
but there is bad clothing that's why now i realize that i must check the weather every day before i go out i must uh, of course wear a proper jacket in the winter that will uh, warm me enough when i go outside and the second one is learning the language it is quite hard to learn their language of course but if you persevere and continue to learn their language it is not possible but for me it is not quite easy to learn their language you really need to persevere and of course have courage to learn their language and the third one is also connected on learning the language the third one is finding a work here in Norway it is hard to find a work most especially if you cannot speak their language because how you will communicate on your work or on your job if you cannot use their language so it's not so easy to do it but if you have courage and if you persevere there's nothing impossible in life and the fifth one is of course cost of living here in Norway you know what guys it's really expensive to live here the food the clothes of course having a car <laughs> paying your rent or buying a house it's really expensive here of course if you have a job you will be capable of paying all those things that is really expensive here in Norway and the second to the last one is applying to UDI or the Directorate of Immigration here in Norway so if you want to live here of course you must apply there to have your resident permit and that is quite difficult because you must wait and you must have all those requirements and just make sure that you will apply more about three months earlier for you to have enough time to get your resident card and the last one for me is of course the negative side living here in norway or in other foreign country is missing your homeland or your own country your family relatives friends colleagues and food especially just like me so that are the pros and cons of living here in norway on my own perspective so if you are also an expat or living in a foreign country now and you want to share the positive and negative sides on living in a foreign country, feel free to comment down below what is your insight. And once again, I am Donita, your PNI teacher in Norway. And of course, if you want to know more about my ideas, experiences on living here in Norway, just click the notification bell below for you to be updated if I have new uploads. Thank you for watching and keep safe everyone. Bye!